Hey guys, it's the Zoo Tycooner, and welcome back to our zoo. Um, first of all, before we start, I want to say a um, huge thank you to everyone for the support on the first episode. Um, I was not expecting it to get nearly that much feedback. Um, there's like 13 comments, actually I think two of those are probably mine, so it's like, got like 11 comments um, about this. Um, everyone seems really happy that I started this, um, which makes me really happy because I'm really enjoying it. So, um, yeah, I asked for... Uh, suggestions on what animals to do, and everyone seems to agree on a reptile exhibit of some sort, um, which will be awesome. I'm totally happy to do that. Um, the only thing is, um, I think a couple of people mentioned making it into a reptile house, sorry, house with multiple reptiles. Uh, that's a great idea. The only thing is, I'm not that great at building buildings in this game, so I'm going to leave that exhibit um, for a later date, just so that I can think about and uh, experiment with how to build that. But for now, the exhibit we're going to work on is going to be right over here, and this is going to be for a scimitar, scimitar horned oryx. Um, that's also a suggestion by someone in the comments uh, by the name of the West Man Four, I think, or the West Man Fourteen, or sorry, the West Ham Four or Fourteen. My bad. Uh, first anniversary award. That's fine. Um, so yeah, let's get started. As you can see, I did change this a bit like I said I was going to. Um, you'll notice that I added some savanna dirt to the middle here. I think it adds a uh, really nice contrast, well, not contrast necessarily, but it adds a new shade of brown that matches more uh, the water, which I think is really nice. Um, as you can see, we also have three rhinos. <laughs> While I was finishing up the details here, uh, these two, well, the two that we had in here originally uh, had a baby, and it has already grown up. <clears throat> so, let's see, the changes I made, I'll just go over them really quickly. Um, I replaced the rock here, that was here, with this dead tree. What kind of tree is that? Rain tree? Dead rain tree. Um, I added this, like I said, I moved this log over here. I added large rocks here, um, right here, and I removed the little bush that was over here, and... That's about it for inside the exhibit. Um, outside the exhibit, I fixed up this area a little bit. Added a bench, statue, um, tree. This is, even though it looks like it, it's not a banana tree. It is a queen palm. Um, the thing that looks like bananas on it, those are actually flowers. So, got that. And sandbags there. I'm not sure what purpose they serve, but I thought that they fit in kind of nicely there. Just to add something interesting. Um, for the pathway here, I raised it up a little bit higher and added these benches. So we've got a very nice view into the exhibit from here. And added this pathway uh, gate thingy, with the staff only sign for the zookeeper. <coughs> so that's basically what I did to fix that up. Oh yeah, and I also added, let's see, I added this wheat. I added wheat all around. Um, I forgot that I had this to work with. This is probably my favorite piece of grass next to the marum grass to use in uh, desert and savanna biomes. Alright, so now that we have that all taken care of, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, as you can see, I also added this along the uh, pathway, the rope fence. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get going on this, shall we? First I want to build the shelter for the oryx, which I already have in mind exactly what I'd like to do. Let's see. I want this, and I'm going to go like that, that will be the back of it, and then grab a 2-3, and just make a a little little stable, makeshift stable. It'll be very simple, but it'll get the job done. Uh, what am I looking for? This. Change the lining there. And I want to put a doorway right here where I've got the path, whoops, for the zookeeper. <clears throat> okay, and let's see, where are the indoor stable walls? I am not seeing it. Oh, there we go. So for this, we're just going to make a little stall there, and all the orcs will share this. Uh, right over here will just be where the zookeeper enters, and there's a little bucket and, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I also put this in here, a little bucket and broom next to the shelter, so I'm going to put that in here too, and it'll be like what the uh, zookeeper uses to clean the exhibit. 
Oh yeah, and I also added extra hay to the floor here for the shelter, just because I think it makes it look a little bit better. So let's do that over here also. Do that. Cool. Is that showing? No, it's not showing there. Very good. Okay, let's go ahead and stick a couple oryx in there. <clears throat> I know it probably doesn't make too much sense to put the animals in first, um, but I, I don't know why, but for some reason, for me, it helps me visualize the exhibit a little bit better if I have them actually walking around. I, I don't know if, it's, if I'm just being, being weird or what, but that's how I like to do it. So let's go ahead and give them some water to start off. I'm going to use this, and I think I'm going to put it right there. Hopefully they can access that, because in the past when I've used that, sometimes the animals haven't been able to, to get at it. Going to investigate the water trail. Okay, hopefully they can they can drink from that. We will know if they start um, dying of thirst. So, <clears throat> okay. So let's see. What should we what should we do now? I'm gonna just start off like I did before. Let's put down some grass. Uh, that's not what I wanted to select, but stick that there. There we go. Do this. Like so. And oryx, I believe oryx are naturally quite shy creatures, so let's give them quite a lot of plants. Um, their exhibit doesn't need to be quite as barren and open as the rhinos, because rhinos are very large and stomp all the vegetation into the ground. Um, so that's why their exhibit would be fairly o wide open. Um, but these guys, um, that will not necessarily be the case. They can have much more overgrown exhibit. So we will do that. Let's go ahead and do this. And of course, under the stable, we'll go ahead and make it dirt. And someone has already pooped. Clean the feces. I'm going to make it my goal to save feces in every single video. <laughs> because why the hell not? And in a zoo, a zoo game, I think it will be quite an easy task. Okay, let's see how this looks from over here. Yeah, I like that a lot better. The scrub, the scrub color just... I don't know, it's a little dull and, and a little bit gross. I think this looks a lot better. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off the same way we did with the rhinos. I want to put the dirt down. But like I said, this time we're going to have a little bit less than before. I'd like their food to be right over here, in this corner here. So let's put that as dirt too. Um, the person who suggested the um, antelope oryx exhibit, I remember they did say they wanted a watering hole in the middle. So why don't we go ahead and do that? And let's use savanna again for that, because it just looks so much better. How's that? It's just a little one. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Okay. And let's go ahead and put this dirt down as well. The only risky thing about putting down dirt ahead of time um, is that when you place more foliage then it can mess it up because like if you put that okay that's a bad example that didn't do it um, put this down that's another bad example okay um, how about this will this work nope how about this acacia tree okay well anyways <laughs> my point is usually when you put down a plant on top of dirt it will convert the dirt into the base color over here, <clears throat> sorry, which is grass or sand in this case. So it's the only risk with it. Because if you put a lot of hard work into putting out the dirt and then put gra uh, plants on top of it, it can just ruin it all. So, anyways, <clears throat> I want to convert all that into savanna dirt too. And oh, it's getting getting to be nighttime already. That's perfect. I like that. Uh, one way to get around the uh, foliage problem, though, is if you place the foliage ahead of time elsewhere and then click it and drag it, then you don't have to worry about it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll do it as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, it's fine right there. I'm going to put the greener grass closer to the water, just because that makes the most sense to have the lushest foliage where the water is. Hmm. Put that there. Mm, up a little bit more. Put that 
there. And one last one right here, maybe. How's that? I'm okay with that. We need to make sure that they have the privacy that an Oryx would naturally need, but also have them visible enough that guests are actually able to view them properly. So we need to make sure to balance that out properly. Lots of wheat. I, I, I love how the wheat looks. It's so, it's so nice. It's very scrubby and just, I don't know, it's awesome. I love it. Okay, so this looks good. Okay, uh, let's put some more over here. It's a little barren over here. Maybe we can have some kind of structure right there. Oh yeah, it's not even a big worry if uh, this doesn't work, because I do have the pond, so that's great. Okay. Let's see, we gave the rhinos a stone trowel with hay. Do we want to give these guys the same thing, or do we want to mix it up? I don't think animals are usually given um, fresh grass like this. Um, normally it's just hay, but maybe that's just because hay is cheaper in real zoos. Um, but I imagine something green would be a lot healthier, It'll have a lot more nutrients in it. But I like the color of this better, this looks nicer. So I'm going to go, go ahead and stick with this, I think. Uh, good, okay. I do want to give them a scratching post too, so let's go ahead and put this maybe there. I like that. I like the idea of palm trees in here. Maybe there. Ooh, did that mess with the terrain? No, it didn't. Good, okay. How's that? Ooh, all the plants does make it a little bit hard to see. Hmm, what to do about that? Maybe we can just get rid of what's in between the exhibit and the fence. Uh, this can just be moved over. Maybe get rid of this. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. And what about over here? Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe we can have some kind of elevated viewing platform um, structure right here. Uh, where I'm jumping, right here, um, that you can climb up into and then you can view this exhibit from there. It's a little bit far away, but close enough, I think. Alright, how do we feel about having one of these trees in here? Ooh, that looks really good right there. Okay, good. Stick this. See? There we go. See how the, how the train did that? It painted it sand. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's good. I like that. And it's overhanging the pond, which is really nice. And then they can crawl under here. Well, not crawl, but walk. Cool. I like it. Okay. That is coming along very nicely. Indeed. Let's put a little bit more dirt here. I don't like... Okay, I don't want that in the middle of the dirt. <clears throat> okay. Very good. They have plenty of open, open room still to trot around. Water, bedding. Um, the only thing is, they're not actually going to use the shelter to uh, sleep in. Um, like, they, they will wander around in there and they might lay down in there, um, but they could do that anywhere in the exhibit. So, But they won't actually treat this as a, a, sh a shelter, a legitimate shelter. However, if we put this in there, then they might. So let's go ahead and do that. And then maybe they'll actually get their uh, privacy needs satisfied from, excuse me, from uh, from going in there. Okay. Good. So that's sorted. Let's extend the path a little bit. Now let's see what we can do about this structure here. What would be neat is if we could have <clears throat> the elevated structure so that underneath it maybe there could be like snack carts or something, and then so we can have a stairway going up into it where you've got like ooh yeah that would look cool okay let's see if we can see if we can't do that um ooh okay i know a perfect way to do that so let's see <clears throat> how high do we want this ooh that's too high i think this is probably perfect all right so we want to have it one two three do we want to have it all the way up to the path sure why not do it like that and Okay. Is that too crowded? I wonder if this is too crowded, because its path is only one wide. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of overwhelming and in your face to walk through here. 
So, so let's move it back. I don't want guests to feel overwhelmed. Perfect. Okay, that's much nicer. And then it's all right if it's if it's right there, I think. There's this, but I think the color is wrong. Uh, it might work. How's that? Okay, you know what? That actually works really well. We just have to change the uh, supports again to a uh, darker color. How does it look from up here? This is a little dangerously low, this rope. But you know what? That is okay. I'm not going to be that picky in a video game. So let's go ahead and put this like this. There we go. Yeah, this is perfect. Like that. Oops, I don't want it there. Uh, do I want it there? No, I don't. Whoops. Oh my god. Okay. Put this here. Boop. And we can even add a support to this tiny little guy. Because this support pack is beautiful. <coughs> I would mention credits if I could, but honestly there's so many downloads I can't remember who made anything. Almost who made anything. There's some very distinguished downloads, but... That is besides the point. I don't remember who made these. Cool. I love that. It looks great. Okay. I would say that these stairs look a little brightly colored and odd compared to everything else, but I think it looks just fine. I actually kind of like the brightness. It's kind of interesting. Cool. Okay. Also, guys, um, this may seem like kind of small exhibits for these animals, um, especially the rhinos, but... Um, like, if I was designing exhibits in real life with these animals, I would make them a lot bigger. Like, for the rhinos, I would probably make their exhibit at least three times the size. Um, but unfortunately, this is Zoo Tycoon, and look at the size of the map we have. We've already taken up so much space with only two exhibits. Um, so I really can't afford to make them any bigger than this, even though it would be cool to, cool to do that. It's just not practical for the game. Um, but we should, like... This will still be a decent le length Let's Play. Like, we can still put so many more exhibits in here, even so. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Let's see, what do we? What else do we want to do with this, this stand? We want benches up there, of course. So let's stick some, stick some benches there. Uh, one right there, and... One right there, maybe. How's that? Good, they're perfectly aligned. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Why not? Oh, cool, you, you even have a view of the rhinos there. There's so much viewing space for both these exhibits, that's great. Okay. Um, do we want to have a roof? I think we do want to have a roof of some sort up there. And we would want to use something different for the roofs that actually resembled shingles, I think. So maybe this. Oops. Yeah, that's good. And then put this back. Do I like that? Yes, I think I do. Let's put supports up there. Is that the right size? I think so. Oh my gosh. Too much zoom. Here we go. And a boop. And a boop. There we go. How is that. That is not bad actually. It's very large, but that is okay. Adds character. Cool. I love it. Okay. Here we go. Uh, up please. Thank you. Nice. Okay. I am totally okay with that. Now let's see if we can't decorate. Um, well here. We've spent enough time on that. Let's go ahead and do more with the actual exhibit here. I do want to extend that a little bit there. Um, maybe put little bit more dirt there. Can I get away with it? Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Cool. I like that. Um, that's too straight for my liking. There we go. Okay, now I'm thinking we need a log of some sort or rocks of some sort right here. Or maybe some kind of other structure. Even if they don't have any entertainment, any more entertainment um, in their personal profile list, maybe there's something we can put in there that'll look good anyways, even if they don't actually use it. Da -na 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 -na. Already have scratching post. Nope. There's not really anything there. Okay, let's go ahead and do some more landscaping. Uh, bog. 
Should we just put the standard rock pile there? I think we should. I like how it looks there. Aha! There we go. Another example. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not that interesting. It is not that interesting that the train changes. Uh, semi desert. Uh, whoops, that's the wrong one. Arid desert. Okay. Um, let's stick another rock right there. I like that. And right there? Sure. Except let's rotate that a little bit. That's fine. Are we forgetting anything? They have a shelter, they have water, they have food. Um, I believe that's everything we need there. How? Alright, let's see. Let's put some coastal rocks maybe around the outside of the exhibit as well, like we did with the rhinos. Have one there. Ooh, I like that a lot right here. Let's make kind of like a, a bigger wall. Um, like this perhaps. I always put this medium rock and then this smaller one right next to it. I always do that when I design exhibits. I've noticed that. I have a lot of patterns that I tend to repeat because I think it looks really good. Get rid of these. Get rid of all of these because that is ruining our background. That tree can stay because that's a desert tree. And I feel like we need logs or something over there. Let's go ahead and steal this from the rhino exhibit. Just have it like that. Ooh, uh, I do like this one better. Uh, no I don't. No! I want the other one back, please. Um, nope, that's, that's birch. That is out of, out of theme. This is probably birch, too. I'm not even sure. But it doesn't have the black on it, so it looks better than the other one did. Good, okay. I don't mind that. I do think we need to put more of this wheat around, though. Cool, we got so, a lot done in a very short period of time. Um, I think this will be a very well-paced episode. I think we're basically done, honestly. Like, I think we've reached the point where I'm going to end the video very shortly, and I'll finish up details as I did before, off-camera, and then bring you guys back to it. Um, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Let's do that. And this cool I love it so much I don't know what I want to have over here I want to have um, pathway continue obviously and um, maybe have an exhibit right next to the rhinos here with uh, like a fence that far away and foliage in between creating kind of like a wall between them I'm so excited no I don't want that <laughs> I'm so excited guys this is gonna be awesome um but yeah okay I think we're honestly basically done for now. Sorry about that, by the way. I just cracked my fingers. I have a habit of doing that. So if you have a pet peeve with cracking people kept cracking their fingers, um, I apologize because I you might hear that throughout my videos. Um, but yeah, I think I'm basically ready to end the episode. This tree might go just because it's a little random uh, with everything else around. Um, but yeah, this is how things are looking. Got that. We got this and we got everything. Everything. Um, but yeah, one of the details I'll finish up off camera probably, or maybe even just continue in the next episode, is put stalls and food and stuff under here. Because um, I would really like this to be a fully functional zoo if possible, so that when I let guests in, they will be quite happy and able to view all the animals and get food and everything, even though this is a uh, sandbox mode game. Um, but yeah, okay, so I've rambled long enough, I think, so let's go ahead and say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>